after hours of interrogations at uh, the district commander's office, Mensa Thompson has been moved from that particular office to the charge office where he will be spending the night. He is expected to be in court tomorrow for further trial. But let's engage his legal counsel, Victor Adawudu, on exactly uh, what the charges are and what constitute this case. For how long have you been here? Uh, since afternoon. Since afternoon, I think that um, previously we had a call about two weeks ago that uh, Mensah Thompson should see the district commander here. Um, it was a time that he was writing exams, so we pleaded with the police that he was writing exams, and the second week we would be coming here. So we came to see them as we promised. Um, so when we came, only to we be told that they've uh, secured a warrant of arrest for us. So they took our statement, took the charge statement, they said they were investigating for publication of false news, false news that uh, he published and news that the Falcon, the presidential jet Falcon had carried the first family and they were in it. I think that that's all and that is the basis that it is published uh, false. And I, I'm sure that his source, immediately he got to know that the source was not right. I think he came out through the same media and the prominence that gives that yes, he didn't get his story right. So. For me, I think that it was a right for to rejoin that, which is guaranteed by the Constitution. But if it's a criminal matter, which is a demeanor, we will go to the court tomorrow and see what the court will do. Um, he's been detained here. He's expected to be in court tomorrow. Are you hopeful that after court tomorrow, he will be going home? Oh, yeah, yeah. It depends. It's the discretion of the judge. But our laws make every offense billable. So it is the facts weighed against the availability of him being in court or not that the judge will have to look at and the guidelines and the factors. So it is the discretion of the judge to say that I'll grant you a bill or I'll not grant you a bill. But we are sure, looking at the facts and the circumstances, there's nobody going to run. He will be around. And if they said the publication of the false news, which has become a criminal matter, is an offense that if a journalist or an executive director of a policy tech tank says that this is what his source and information is saying and comes back and say that my source did not give me the right information becomes a criminal matter, uh, I think we'll go to the court and let them prove that we are guilty of what they have charged. Have you spoken with uh, Mr. Thompson himself? What did he tell you after he was detained? No, that yes, I've I've seen him. Yeah, he's 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 shocked that the what he said, and eventually has even gone back to say that no, he did not get it. He had to be detained for that, and I understand um, that it is the court that issued the warrant of arrest. So if it is a warrant of arrest, it is the same court that can rescind that uh, warrant. So. I'm sure tomorrow morning when we go, and because we actually came here as promised, not that we were convinced or we were persuaded to come here. We came here on our own volition because we promised that after exams, which is our right to write, we will come here and we are here. So I will just go and prepare for tomorrow and we see what we do. Thank you very much. That is the lawyer for Mensa Thompson, uh, Victor Kojuga. Adawudu speaking to us on what happened, what the charges are and related issues. Behind me is where Mensah Thompson will be spending the night and he's expected in court tomorrow and we will be there to bring you what will transpire in court. For City News, I am Anastasia reporting from the Teshi District Police Command.